Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over how to create a simple script that will allow you to move a game object around with your arrow keys. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is to create your script. You can do this by right clicking on your scripts folder, create, C sharp or JavaScript. You could also click on the object you're going to apply the script to, go to add component, scroll down to scripts if it already exists. If you're going to create a new one, you'll hit new script, give it a name, choose your language, and create an add. By doing create and add, it puts it in the main assets folder of your project. To keep it organized, we're going to move this into scripts. Now let's open it up and look at it. Right now, there's not a whole lot inside of it. One of the first things that we will set up is a public float to be used as our speed variable. Right now, we'll just instantiate it and we won't assign it to anything quite yet. We don't need to do anything inside of start and instead of update, we are going to be using fixed update. Inside of fixed update, we're going to create a new float called movement, spell it right, movement horizontal. Now we're going to set that equal to something called input dot get axis and then in parentheses semicolon at the end horizontal. Now what does that mean? Well inside of our Unity project if we go to edit project settings input here we can see all of our input variables listed out. Horizontal has a negative button of the left arrow key, a positive button of the right arrow key, alternate buttons A and D, and several other settings that you can edit. We have a horizontal, vertical, and several other default inputs that are already created for you. So what this is going to tell us inside of our script is when I hit the right arrow key, it will return a positive 1, meaning I'm going right. If I hit the left arrow key, it will return a negative 1, meaning that I'm going left. So this movement horizontal will be giving me a positive or negative 1 to tell me which direction I'm moving in. We also want to have a movement vertical equal to input dot get axis vertical to know when we're moving up and down. Now we're going to create a new vector 3 called movement. You'll set that equal to a new vector 3 and we will give it movement horizontal 0 for the y and movement vertical for the z. So we have movement horizontal for the x, 0 for y, and movement vertical for z. Add a semicolon. Next, we are going to look for get component a rigid body component lowercase v and we're going to set its velocity equal to movement times our speed so let's break down what these two lines do our vector 3 movement can either return a new vector 3 of 0, 0, 0, which means we are not hitting any keys. 
Let's go ahead and just change this to a block comment. There we go. It could also be a one zero zero, which means we are moving right. So I'm hitting the right arrow key or the D key and I'm going to be moving my object right. On the flip side, negative one, zero, zero, and all of these are floats by the way, not flat out integers, it should be 0.0, 0.0, 0, .0, 0, .0 but I'm skipping that for time. This would be moving left. Zero, zero, one, moving up, slash, forward, forward, down, the Z axis. Up would be, if you're looking from a bird's eye view, you'd be moving up. Same with zero, zero, negative one would be moving down or backwards. You could also get a value of 1, 0, negative 1 if I'm hitting both the down key and the right key. So I'd be moving both back and right at the same time. So what that's going to do, if that's what our movement is, we will be multiplying our speed value to that and that's how we're going to be getting our new position by setting our velocity to the movement multiplied by our speed which will send us in a new direction. So let's go ahead and head over into Unity and see what that does. Something to note if you do create a new script and add it and then move it Unity will no longer know where to find it. So I suggest just going to scripts, create, do it there, and then click on your object, add component, scripts, and select the one you want. Now if you notice here, we have speed set to zero. Inside of the inspector panel, if you have a script with a public variable that is not set to anything up here, you can edit that public variable inside of the inspector. So if we wanted to set our speed to 4, that means that whenever this script is run and it gets speed, it's going to set that to integer 4. No. So that means whenever we run the script, it's going to set that to a float of 4.0. Now, there's one last thing that we're missing before we can actually have PillGuy move. That is our rigid body physics component. So we go to add component, physics, rigid body. Right now we can uncheck use gravity. The rigid body component allows the game object to be influenced by physics. Right now we're not having really any physics affect this object that much. Uh, we're just moving it around directly instead of applying forces to it and whatnot. But later on, when you have more advanced games, you'll be using the rigid body to determine how it, that object behaves in your game. So now, if we go to play, you can move your game object around the X and Z axis. Notice also, while in game mode, you can change the value, let's say, to 10. Then click back into here. And you can see that he's moving much faster. However, once you leave game mode, any changes that you made are reverted back to the way they were before you entered game mode. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.